All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks. He's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. UFC 217 championship triple header. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Vincent St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by CJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Joanna Young Jacek. And we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us. And we looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Ooh, big shot land. These guys throwing early. Blocks the shot. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Right up the elbow, the body kick lands. That is how you scramble, folks. Liver kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly makes up the target. Tight to the hole. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. That punch will work right through the guard. Nice head kick. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Wow! Right hook attempt, but it's no good. Good stick. Oh, nice high kick. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around, the, around his guard. What a tricky hit. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh, collar tie. Nice leg kick land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Right hand landed. Whoa! Final seconds of round one. Round two coming up next. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Second round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the pump starting to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. 
just misses with a left hook there. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. And they separate. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tight clinch. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Leg kick. Oh, nice. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Out of range with that one. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch lands over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the Thai clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Unable to land with that punch. 20 seconds to go round two. Roundhouse kick and it lands. It lands, and even if you think you're blocking it, it really is still having an effect on your opponent. And there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead 
and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Pretty good right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. That would be nice. Oh! Nice, sneaky head kick. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Alright, he engages in a single collar tie here. Came in inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Single collar tie now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice great punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, eats a knee. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Big knee, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He went high on that one. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, significant strike kick right under that right elbow. Right here. Both guys really throwing with authority. And a nice job at least. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Nice. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. Are you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.